First, take a look at this scene where just a few frames of a single rotation were turned into continuous motion at any desired speed using video editing software. In this video, I explain all the details about this fake free energy device. Recently a video featuring a unique device like this one went viral, claiming to show a self-sustaining machine that generates power without any external energy. The mechanism behind it looks simple, two springs connected to a crankshaft, with a flywheel spinning in motion, but what's really going on? The device you're looking at has sparked quite a lot of attention, with claims of it being a form of perpetual motion machine. A perpetual motion machine is a hypothetical device that can operate indefinitely without an energy source, seemingly violating the first and second laws of thermodynamics. These laws, however, are well established in physics, and any claim to the contrary should immediately raise skepticism. This device, like many others that have surfaced online, promises to bypass these fundamental principles. But we're here to break down the reality and explain the science behind why this mechanism can't work as claimed. While the design may appear to be highly innovative, especially with its springs and crankshaft mechanism, the true physics involved tell a different story. Let me break it down for you. The device consists of a crankshaft mounted on two bearings with a flywheel on the same shaft. Connected to the crankshaft are two springs, which allow for a reciprocating motion, similar to how pistons work in an engine. Now, some are claiming that these two springs can power the flywheel indefinitely, keeping it spinning without additional energy. But that's where things get misleading. At first glance, the device seems mechanical and elegant in its simplicity. The springs are connected to the crankshaft in a way that induces a back and forth or reciprocating motion. This is indeed how many internal combustion engines work, where pistons drive a crankshaft. However, the key difference is that in a standard engine, the motion is powered by external energy. In the case of an internal combustion engine, fuel ignites and drives the pistons. In this device, no external energy source is present. The springs are loaded with potential energy when they are compressed, and this energy is then transferred into kinetic energy when the springs are released. This is not unusual. It's how springs work. Springs only store energy. They do not create it. Once the stored energy is expended, the system comes to a halt unless additional energy is introduced. The idea that the springs could keep the flywheel spinning indefinitely is misleading because it ignores several critical factors, including energy dissipation through friction and air resistance. These forces will continuously act on the system, causing the motion to slow down and eventually stop. The energy the springs provide is finite and cannot perpetuate the rotation forever. In fact, as the system moves, mechanical friction in the bearings and air drag will steadily sap energy from the system, further ensuring that the motion ceases without external input. Springs don't generate energy by themselves, they only store and release elastic energy. Here's the catch, when one spring is compressed and released it will rotate the crankshaft by half a turn. But on the return stroke, all that energy is neutralized. So if you add another spring on the opposite side they cancel each other out, and the crankshaft remains stationary. The idea that these springs could provide continuous rotational motion contradicts basic mechanics. Without an external source to compensate for energy losses through friction, or to maintain an imbalance in the forces applied by the springs, the system cannot sustain itself. But what you see in the viral video is this flywheel spinning. How? It's simple, when you manually turn the flywheel, its inertia keeps the crankshaft rotating for a few seconds. It gives the illusion that the springs are driving the rotation. This is where the viral video misleads its viewers. By turning the flywheel manually and using its inertia to keep the crankshaft rotating, it can appear as if the springs are doing the work. But in reality, the device is relying on the energy stored in the flywheel, not the springs, and that energy will run out. The video is edited in such a way that the short-lived rotation is stretched out, giving the false impression of a continuously operating machine. With the help of video editing software, the few seconds of real rotation can be stretched into minutes, making it seem like the device is working continuously. But in reality, once the flywheel loses momentum, everything stops. When we apply the principles of physics, it becomes clear that the device isn't generating energy on its own. My purpose in designing and creating the animation of this mechanism was to explain how this device actually works and debunk the claims being made in the viral video.